Oh yo. Oh yo. Where the fuck are you? Oh yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Julio. Where are you? Ah, oh, shit, Julio. You made me think you were the fucking Blair Witch. What the fuck? Sorry, I was lost. Oh, I couldn't find you. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Fuck. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, joined by... Who? Hey! <laughs> you know, it's me. We're here to review Blair Witch. Yeah, Blair Witch. Okay, so Blair Witch is the direct sequel to The Blair Witch Project from 1999. This film is directed by Adam Wingard, who directed The Guest, and you're next. So, with Blair Witch... <laughs> so Blair Witch is about this brother that is out looking for his sister, you know, the sister from the Blair Witch Project from 1999. He believes that his sister is still alive after all these years, and when he sees that, that sister could still possibly be alive, he and his friends go out into the woods. So Sarari is Jay, when it comes to the Blair Witch Oh god, I can't take you seriously with that lollipop. <laughs> Sarah is when it comes to the Blair Witch Project, the film from 1999, uh, what you think of that film? Good. The reason I'm fan because it makes you think of something off about what if there's a different kind of witch that's different than we mostly com are common with. Uh, for me, uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, uh, I'm really... Not a fan of the Blair Witch Project, to be honest. Like, I appreciate what I try to do, but I'm not gonna lie. I, I honestly really hated the movie. So I really didn't have any anticipation for Blair Witch. Um, even though it is directed by Adam Wingard, I was hoping I would be proven wrong going into this film, however. I was hoping maybe Adam Wingard can surprise me with this film. And um, before I get to my thoughts on Blair Witch, I'll... Leave it to Saran Riz J. Uh, what'd you think of Blair Witch? It's just repeating the same thing, the situation all over again, just with the brother and his friends, and the girl that he, there's possibly like they're in a relationship. So it's basically like the same situation, just but with the brother. So for you, it's basically like rinse and repeat, right? Yeah. Um, and for me, I actually have to agree with you, um, you know, what what I came in uh, worried with this film honestly has come true. I was not impressed with Blair Witch. In fact, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I really, really hated this movie. Okay, so the pros I was able to find in this boring snooze fest was that performances were actually pretty good. I didn't really have a problem as far as performances go. There's a couple of okay ones, but for the most part, I say pretty much everyone did a good job. Sometimes I thought the cinematography did look good in the movie. And I did like that the motivation this time around was dear friend, like, you know, in the first film, their motivation to go into the woods is them having some kind of project. But this film, their motivation is that, oh, the brother's sister is possibly still alive, so they're going out there to see if she really is still alive. Like, I actually like that the motivation was different. And the last uh, positive I have for Blair Witch is the last... 10 to 15 minutes where something interesting actually fucking happens. The last 10 to 15 minutes was interesting. It did have its creepy moments. It did build tension that I was very impressed by. The build up. The, all the actors did really good for each part they were supposed to play. Yeah. Uh, the graphics on it was good. I like it when they, they actually made it to like where it's a pister mm -hmm. uh, search. Because they made you think, like, if you have any siblings, like, you know the gut. Like, you still have that gut feeling, like, you think you're, any of your siblings are still alive out there. But it makes you think, wonder if you want to go do it yourself instead. The last 10 minutes was good because it gives you that jump, or, like, at least a huge jump if you were not a huge scare. Yeah. But if you're a huge horror fan like I am, you know, like, oh, okay, it's gonna come up anyways. Like, you already know 
It's basically good, really good. So, my problems with this film. First of all, the movie's jump scares. I was really annoyed by the jump scares in Blair Witch. Instead of it being scary and effective, it just really annoyed me, especially when it's just like a certain character that'll pop up rather than like an actual like maybe creature or anything like that. It's just like a character popping up, like going, like just going something like, what's up? Or this and that, like any kind of jump scare like that. Honestly, that really, really annoyed me. Um, like I said, I like the cinematography sometimes. I like the look of the movie sometimes, but for the most part, I thought the cinematography was rather dull. And I know that this is a found footage movie. It's not supposed to have the most groundbreaking cinematography, but give me a cinematography that's at least, you know, serviceable. And although most of the performances were good, I honestly didn't really care about any of the characters, to be honest. Maybe like the girl in the group, you know, the main, main girl, you know, I actually did like her character. She might be the only character I got attached to. Not even really the brother. I didn't really get attached to him. I didn't give a shit about him, nor the other characters. It's really just the girl I was actually kind of rooting for. And Adam Wingard, he's so above this. I hate to say it, but his direction was just absolutely terrible. I really did not think it was a very well-directed film, which is a shame considering how well-directed the guest is. I do think it is Adam Wingard's worst directed movie so far, unfortunately. A lot of the scenes are just so, just, dull. Th they're just so dull, yes. And <laughs> and you're my witness, Ron SJ. Didn't it look like I was about to fall asleep during the movie? Yes. The pacing. Wow. Talk about having slow pacing in the film. And it's a huge problem when you don't really have anything happening. Like, honestly, it's just characters just walking around talking, false situations happen, and then it's more walking and talking, some shaky cam that goes with it. It's just the same thing for the majority of the movie. The last 10 minutes was actually interesting because they actually go somewhere. Like, it doesn't feel like the same thing. I didn't feel like it was anything new, and I know me and you talked about this, but the movie feels so similar to what you just said earlier about it feeling too similar with the Blair Witch Project. Leading up to what I said about the last 10 minutes, I was really enjoying the last 10 minutes. And then the ending of the movie comes. And it makes the entire adventure, without spoiling anything, just feel utterly pointless. I, I seriously wondered, what was the whole point of this whole adventure? And then where the movie's building up to, it builds up to nothing. Just absolutely nothing. And it was really frustrating to me. And honestly, the writing when it comes to the dialogue and all that stuff was just so bad in my opinion. It did not mesh well together with the characters, with the story they're trying to tell. And this movie, ugh, this movie honestly just really bored me. Not to mention that when things do actually happen, once again, I know it's found footage, but you can't even see some of the stuff that that's happening. Oh, like when crazy situations are actually happening, you can't fucking see what's on screen. If you really want to affect us as an audience member, as someone that is watching a horror film and wants to be terrified, you have to actually show what's going on. You don't have to necessarily show the creatures or anything, but keep the camera still, have the sound just, just come in basically, you know, have anything effective to affect your audience, and this film honestly fails to do that, in my opinion. Oh my goodness. Robert Jay, what would be your problems with Blair Witch? Well, to be as serious as you with the, uh, some of the actors, this, the camera scene, like the way they're, like the process of the camera. Like poor camera work? Yeah, but the, cre I guess the witch, I guess, it's supposed to be. Yeah. And there's just, the only thing that's, I like, creepy is making the actors creepy. Like, scared is just them instead of the actual audience. Like, the only thing that's just a little creepy is just the noise in the forest. That's about it. Yeah. Like they should at least like make like, like something else that's supposed to be more creepy or scary for the audience. And for the witch, I'm not gonna explain how it looks, but they showed it made it more of a witch but this one they, they made it more of a unknown creature basically 
Let's yeah. just put it that way. Like you will see from like outer space. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah, but you see, like all you viewers are watching this. If you do, have seen it or have not seen it, you're about to go see it. Don't understand what my point of view. It does not look like a witch. This is really a huge disappointing of the whole entire plot of this whole entire movie. But like my friend said here, it's just all for nothing. So I had to agree with them with that. It was just, they did all that effort just for nothing. And it was just a really huge point of disappointment. And uh, like they should have improved it a lot more better than they should have. On some of the parts, I was just bored, but I just don't want to explain some of the details in case some of you have not seen it. They should have done something else just to spook us a little bit more. Yeah. To me, it was like, it was just really slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, this is one of those movies where nothing much really happens. Like, I don't know if you agree with that, but I felt like nothing much really happened during this movie. Yeah, I have to agree. It's like, it's like so slow. It's just... Just slow. Overall, you guys, in my opinion, the Blair Witch, Blair Witch, I should say, yeah. I hated the Blair Witch Project, and that's the same thing with this one. I came out bored out of my mind. I came out frustrated because I couldn't believe the shit I was seeing on screen. Even sometimes, even though I liked most of the climax, there were even some scenes in the climax where I went, really? And yeah, that, and then the ending, of course, the ending definitely took away some of the impact I actually sort of got from the last 10 to 15 minutes of the movie. Didn't give a shit about any of the characters besides the main girl in the movie. The script was so poorly done. Adam Wingard's direction is terrible. This is not a scary movie. It's not effective. The jump scares are annoying to shit. It's such a dull, painfully boring movie. In my opinion, Blair Witch is one of the worst movies of the year. For me, I have to give this movie one out of four stars. Oh my god. What would you rate uh, Blair Witch? I would give it a two out of five. It was just <laughs> not the way I was thinking of a horror movie. Yeah. But you guys, of course, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Blair Witch. Were you a fan of the Blair Witch Project? And were you even a fan of Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2? And um, interesting question, which Blair Witch sequel did you actually like better? Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2 or Blair Witch? And what's your favorite work from Adam Wingard so far? Uh, thank you so much to Ron Reyes J for reviewing Blair Witch with me, at least. At least I didn't have to sit through this movie alone. That's the positive out of all this. <laughs> so you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude here with Sarai J. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Pop.